Hi, we're at Reading University asking students a couple of questions. Is it gay to date a trans woman? So a trans woman's a biological male, yeah. XY chromosomes, at birth born a male, but obviously the current gender theory suggests that you can identify as any gender you want. And that's their words, not mine. So yeah. does, is it gay to date a trans woman? She f she fully leads. So uh, this is this is regardless of whether she's right. had, uh, regardless of whether the individual has had surgery or not. They are, the, the trans lobby's own words is that, that, that a person identifying as a female is a female. So does it make it gay for a man to date a trans woman? No, I wouldn't say no. And why is that? I just feel like it doesn't like it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. I feel like it's just your relationship. If you two are on the same level, that's fine. Like I just don't think it really matters what other people's opinions are. Uh, specifically, the LGB lobby is proud, loud and proud, literally pride, saying yeah. it's okay to be whatever you want to be. Yeah. So okay. it wouldn't be negative to say that that does make you gay. In fact, you, you would then necessarily be a, a proponent of LGB. So yeah, that, that does make you gay. So what are your thoughts then? Closing, closing thoughts, does it make you gay to date a trans woman? Biological male assigned at birth. I... Regardless of whether they've had surgery or not. Oh, my God. Um... It's tricky, isn't it? Yeah. It shouldn't be tricky. No, I oh know. So, for example, if I if I so the, the the lobby says that tomorrow morning I can wake up and identify as a woman. Yeah. Right. I can confirm that I'm XY. I hope I've got that right. So I always get it wrong. XY chromosomes. Right. So I have male genitalia. And tomorrow I wake up and beard the lot. Right. And I wake up. Go. I'm a woman. You date me. Does that make you gay? I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't say so. I just. No. I don't think. No, I think I think it makes you gay. No. Is it gay to date a trans woman? I doubt. I guess. So biological. So trans woman's a biological male, born X Y chromosomes, signed oh, male. Of course, at birth. I'm well aware of that. I think it's absolutely normal. Fine. So it, it's not. So it's not homosexual or gay for a man to date a trans woman. Hold on. Can I repeat your question again? Sure. Is it gay to date a trans woman? So if I, if I was born a male, you can tell I'm a male, I presume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, If I was identifying as female, right, regardless of whether I'd gone through surgery or not, it's not about surgery anymore, it's about how you feel, it's about how you identify, which is going to bring me on to another question. If you were to date me, and I said to everyone in the world, social media, my family, I'm a woman, would that make you gay? So I don't is, is it gay to so. date a trans woman? I don't think so. Personally, I feel like everyone has the right to go with whoever they want. So I don't think... I don't think it's right to just label things if you get what I mean, right? I think it's absolutely normal to go with whoever you want without sure. having to use labels. You're not, you're not prejudiced, I understand. Yeah. Um, what I'm saying, because it's not, it's not uh, a crime or bad to be homosexual in the 21st century. Yeah, of course, century. of course. So would it make you gay? There's a massive LGB lobby that are, that are proud of the rights they now have. I suppose, I guess. See, off, off, the, off the dome, top of the head, what makes a woman a woman? What makes a man a man? Well... I'm not, I'm not really sure how to approach this question, I'm sorry. Is it gay to date a trans woman for a man? So trans woman, yeah. I had to get my head around this. Trans woman is a yeah. biological male, yeah. XY chromosomes, who is either, ident according to the uh, LGBT lobby or trans lobby, yeah. is identifying as a woman, mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter whether, whether they've had surgery or not. Mm -hmm. So in the 90s it was called transsexual. Yeah. didn't matter whether they had surgery or not, it's just called transsexual. Yeah. Now it's about transgenderism. So is it gay for a man to date a trans woman? No, I don't think so, because if they identify as a woman, they identify as a woman. So a, a man who is presenting or claiming they're a woman, is it homosexual to date that individual if you're a man? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why is it gay? Because the radical trans lobby say that it's uh, a woman identifies, a woman feels. And they're, they're fine to think that, but I think biologically, they're a man, for, for example, if they're like a man transitioning into a woman. So it, personally, I would not like do that because sure. biologically they're a man. So, so by definition, uh, you identify as a straight male, is that correct? Hetero? Yeah. So that would be, it would be homosexual, correct? And what about you, sir? Yeah, I agree with that. Um, like there's two genders, male and female. And yeah, that's it, honestly. Fantastic. Is it gay to date a trans woman? Um... Don't have to answer. So that's a male born with XY chromosomes. Okay, yeah. So, for example, I'm going to presume you were born with XY. Yeah. Again, 
hope I've got that right. I was born with XY, male genitalia, yeah, yeah. male traits, male personality, yeah. male whatever. Yeah. So it, would it be gay for a man to date a trans woman? So the LGB have achieved their rights. They're very happy with all of that. Yeah. But now we've got this trans lobby that say if you identify as a woman, yeah. that makes you a woman. Therefore, it would not be homosexual. Mm. It would make you heterosexual mm -hmm. to date that woman, mm. regardless of whether they've had surgery, whether they've got mm. a penis or not, how they um, uh, facial hair, yeah. how they present. Is it homosexual to date a trans woman, in um, your opinion, um, as someone who loves free speech? So what it is is that I support it, but personally I won't do it. Okay, so when you uh, say support it, what do you mean? Like people that they do it, they date it, and they be these type of people, and it's fine. Yeah, I support it. I say that they should. Sure. But, uh, over eighteen. Yeah, crack over eighteen. On. Yeah, it's fine. But personally, I would not do it. So, so when you say you wouldn't do it, is it gay? Is it homosexual to date a trans woman? In my opinion, sure. Uh, but in my opinion, you'd be gay. Yeah. You'd be gay or yeah, bi. Yeah. But that's that's in my opinion. Yeah, but you know what it is. Sometimes our opinions is not going to be the same as other people's. So if we say something right now, maybe there's going to be some dislikes, mm. or there's going to be some people that they're going to say, "Oh, I agree to his speech." Mm. But in my opinion, yeah, it's gay too, right? Mm. Is it gay? Is it is it transphobic? Yeah, it is gay. Yeah. Is it, it is. transphobic? I, I don't think it is. You know what I mean? I'm saying it's different opinions, right? Mm. If I say something right now, maybe some other people that's gonna, gonna watch this, mm. they're gonna say, "Oh, I don't agree on him." Sure. And then they're gonna dislike me. Sure, but you so, okay? But you, you you're a proponent my, of free speech. Yeah, my opinion is that yeah. Do you know of any rights that the trans movement, uh, a trans person, doesn't have at the moment? Because they're fighting very hard for their rights. I think no. Nowadays, that the Equal Acts for Disability, females working a lot in the environment, in the working industry, and uh, transgenders and different types of genders. Because every application form that you're filling out nowadays, mm. you've got different genders. You got uh, transsexuals. You got gays. You got so it's fine. Yeah, I think they have equal rights nowadays. Yeah. And last question: What defines a woman? What makes a woman a woman? Could be any one thing you think of. This is a big philosophy again behind it, but a woman, when they're born and then, with they gave they've been gave birth as a lady, right? So they're a woman, in my opinion. So, so do you, do you mean biologically? What makes biologically, a woman a woman is a biology. woman is bi biologically, unless, in my opinion, as their own like. Uh, I don't know, their own like is that to change their genders and then they have a surgery or whatever. Mm. Or turn gay, it's up to them. Mm. But a woman is given birth as a woman. Say, what makes a woman a woman? My response, well, if I was asked that question, what my response would be is, well, biology, mm -hmm. starters. And second mm -hmm. of all, is yeah. personality and emotional. Yeah, yeah. I love the fact that my mother's a woman. I love yeah, the fact yeah, that yeah, she's, exactly. a, she's, she's a womanly woman. Exactly, in that yeah. she's fantastic at exactly. all those traits that make women so very special I agree. and different to men. And I'd say that, and I could unpack that all day long. Mm -hmm. So that's why I say, what makes a woman a woman? Final, final remarks, what's the one thing that makes a woman a woman? You can use the safest answer if you want and just go down the biology route. A, w a woman again, uh, biologically, as you said, so has been given birth as a lady, as a woman, and uh, in my opinion, uh, we should respect all of them, and they should have equal acts mm. and equal rights. And a woman is a woman. So, it's, so biologically, that's yeah. what makes a woman a woman. Yeah. Is it gay for a man to date a trans woman? No. I no, I don't think so. So when I get asked this question, I have to think about what it means. So a trans woman is a biological male born at birth. Is that correct? XY chromosomes yeah and then they've either transitioned they've either identified as a woman or they've transitioned via surgery yeah so you don't think it's gay if a man or from a from your perspective you don't think it would be gay which there's nothing wrong no, with because it, it's still a woman at the end of the day okay. yeah that's how they have, that's how they like you know identify as so that's what they are so it wouldn't be gay no what are your thoughts no i don't think it would be either if a trans woman identifies as a woman therefore she is a woman mm -hmm. therefore it's not gay absolutely and utterly disappointed britain's formerly bluest university nonsense madness narcissism uh, indulgences uh, to the self of enormous proportions of epic proportions disastrous consequences no common sense whatsoever and a, a, every single response to the four questions we asked today was loaded it was preloaded with your ums and your ers and i'm not sure and it's all predicated on i don't want to offend anyone how is this even remotely possible that this is taking place in our universities? Guys, our 18 to 25 year olds, higher education, higher learning, Mickey Mouse degrees you'll never, look, never ever use to be in serious debt to come out indoctrinated to far left dogmas. Oh, sign me up. It's crackers. And we know 
bless you all for following us. You know what we do, how we un uncover and expose, but we never ask unfair questions. It's all pro-free speech stuff. And one more point, and I hate to dig at the 18 25 year olds, but whatever happened to saying a woman's a woman because of biology and female traits? You can't say that, remember, because that means that you're toxic masculinity, right? Uh, when you say what rights the trans people have, don't have that they're, they're fighting for, uh, well, actually, just so that everything's fair and equal. There's that social equity again, that's that backdoor socialism. When we ask, is it gay to date a trans woman? Of course it's gay to date a trans woman. So the massive LGB onside community is saying, yeah, we got everything we wanted and then some, but they still can't say, they still can't promote homosexuality because in some weird twist of fate, if, if, a if someone identifies as a woman, they're a male, that makes them a woman. So every time we ask these common sense based questions, it's something along the insidious and toxic diversity, inclusion and equality agenda, which gives us our answers. There's far left dogmas being pushed and brainwashed into these kids. And guess what happens if you fight the system or if you say no or this is wrong, you're cancelled, you're kicked out, you're a bigot, you're a Nazi. You're a homophobe, you're a transphobe, and every single other type of word the alphabet people and the far left do to normalise, through language, to normalise the fact that you are a bad person. And now throw in an effeminate, weak, bored, ignorant, apathetic youth of men who think, do you know what, I can't be bothered with this. I really can't bother. I'm just going to get on with my life and, and, and live and let live. It kind of is what it is. So, guys, I know it's long, but this is why we do these videos. It's to educate, it's to, sh it's to spread, obviously, awareness, etc., of what's going on in our universities. And let me just come back to that initial point. Imagine getting indoctrinated to far-left dogmas. Imagine being exposed to what censorship and cancel culture will look like. So indoctrination of fear. Imagine getting into debt for a Mickey Mouse degree that you're not going to use. Welcome to British Universities.